since the reign of Rathais, the founder of Vermont, the village of Malf has played an indispensable role in the defense of our kingdom against the dragon. Yet not only has the dragon been allowed to devastate the village, but in the wake of its attack, you dared to submit what are clearly false reports of having felled the beast. None save the Sovereign can fell the dragon. Perchance you mistook an overgrown wyvern for the bringer of calamity. The fault here lies with you, Ser Ulrika. You have failed in your duty as acting chief. With all due respect, Sir Martin, our village has dispatched many of its young hands to the northern stronghold since its completion. Was it not the former council who decreed that the stronghold should serve to defend the kingdom? Would now offering aid only when needed? Yet the stronghold has remained entirely silent to our threat. How can we say that the fault is ours to bear? I know of no such agreement. At the very least, Queen Regent Deesa has mentioned naught of the kind. But I'm quite sure the Consul. You would dare misrepresent the words of the dead? Or do you mean to imply that the Queen Regent has spoken falsely? If so, then Mel's problems ran far deeper than I had thought. Tis not indolence that has taken root here, but treason. The village entire will answer for this. What? I intended nothing of the sort. Pray, let us... Save your honeyed words, traitor. I must inform the Queen Regent of this development. You came to see me? Forgive me, I've much to ponder. Oh, um... Still, how would you like to stay the night? I've yet to repay you for aught you've done for me. A small show of hospitality? Is surely the least You are too wonderful for words. It was by your gothic efforts that now have escaped the worst of the dragon's assault. <laughs> the people of this village are more precious to me than life itself. To lose them would have been the end of me. You have my earnest gratitude. For cute things everywhere! I wanted to tell you that. If not else. Now, it is time we slept. There is much to be done for the village, and I shan't manage it without a good night's sleep. Where is Ulrika? The Queen Regent has declared that Ulrika be apprehended as a traitor to the kingdom. All who seek to abet her will be tried in turn. Bring her before me at once. Ulrika is gone. What? She stole away in the dead of night. Ask around. Several witnesses can confirm it. I cannot say why for certain, but I imagine she took your words to heart, Overseer. Realizing her plans for rebellion had been found out, she chose to abandon the village for our sake. You would have me believe that Ulrika was acting alone? That the rest of the villagers harbor no rebellious intent? Aye, that's the long and short of it. Very well. I shall take you at your word, sir. However, the absence of a leader will sow naught but chaos. For the time being, your village will be in our hands. If it is as you say, I do not expect there will be any exceptions. Ah, oh, there you are. There's aught I would ask of you. It concerns for Rika. You've heard she fled the village, I? Though if that is the case, you would never truly abandon it. Is she left the village? that she might fulfill her charge, protecting Vermont against the dragon. Yes, yes. As for where she went, I do not know. Mm? It would be unwise for me to go looking for her, lest I draw the eyes of the overseer's troops. However, should you happen to find her, would you tell me where she is hiding? I can help. I only pray that she does not fall into the Queen Regent's clutches. Oh, and... <laughs> 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 was impeccably timed, Arisen! Oh, that was exciting!
what treasures will I find today? I can scarce wait to find out. Wait, wait! Huzzah! What a team we make, Arisen! Hear me roar! Feast your eyes on this! This fight is over! Master. A few more things! You ask! Right. We'll have them running for the hills! Not compares to the thrill of victory. One cannot help but feel indomitable. Sending anyone into that cave. But Jonas, isn't it your duty to aid our people? I've held my tongue till now, but no longer. You would leave one of your own to die. This is impermissible. A village is nothing without its people. Sacrificing that poor soul amounts to cutting off your own arm. As Harv's leader, you ought to strive to do whatever you can to bring him back alive. Can you truly say this decision benefits your people, Jonas? <laughs> Who are you to question me? I'll suffer none of your impudence, outsider! Be gone from our village! Aye, Jonas. I am an outsider, and therefore have no reason to heed any commands you would give. I shall follow my own will, and do what must needs be done. All those with the strength and courage to do the same, join me at Stormwind Cave. Tis you. Have you come to join us in our rescue effort? I can help. My thanks. We shan't fail with you by our side. Yep. The captured villager ought to be within. Let us hurry. Adorable outfit. Nope, not gonna happen. Bring it on. Woohoo! Yeah! To think I would meet you here. Or were you searching for me? I can help! I cannot return to Mel. Not till my name is cleared. Not till the dragon is found. Shall we? This village also suffered the dragon's attack in the past. I intend to stay here and investigate its whereabouts. Good! Pray, give my regards to everyone back home. Tell them that I swear to return as soon as I can. You... you saved me. Take this! Tis something I found. I wanted you to have it. You didn't have to do that. Knock it off! <laughs> you won't stop me! Time to kill. Well I want to see them cry. Farewell. <laughs> Tis a relief to be out under the open sky. Such dark depths take their toll on the spirit. Tis as you say. 
You have returned triumphant, I see. Oh, what a relief. Indeed. And now that the task is done, I shall leave Harp Village, ne'er to return. In exchange, I beg you to forgive those who joined me. I incited them, and so I alone ought to suffer the penalty of exile. Yet I will go forth from this village with my head held high, glad in the knowledge that no lives were sacrificed under my watch. There'll be no need for that, Ulrika. In light of your good deeds, all shall be forgiven. After you left, we who remain discuss that which our village treasures most. It is as you yourself have said. A village is nothing without its people. We ought to have learned that lesson well after the dragon chased us from our homes. Yet t'was your heartfelt plea that reminded us of it. Ulrika, would you honor our village by becoming its chief? Tis our hope that you will guide us, and that your kindness and wisdom shall unite our people, human and bistron both. Aye. If that is what is needed, I shall rise to the call of duty. I vow to protect this village and its people with my life. It seems Sir Jonas has seen the error of his ways, but I've no doubt Sir Ulrika will prove a better chief. It was a pleasure to recount such good tidings. We're in the right place, but the one we're due to meet has yet to show. Ought we to wait for them? Ah, it is a relief to hear that Ulrika is safe. Mayhap there is aught I could do for her. The phase of her the Queen Regent's influence has become my humblest thanks. You've proven a friend to Mel and me as well. It isn't much, but here not see you go unrewarded for your trouble. It is good to know that Ulrika is safe. I wish I could do more. Still, mayhap I can find some way to aid her. The base of the Queen Regent's influence has become. Whoa. Take the power of ice and turn it against our foes. Are you fucking kidding me right now? No holding back. Sting is yours to wield. Even open strike Here I come! You all right, dear? Whoa! Thanks. I'm so glad. Yay! Did it! <laughs> oh. Um, shall we kill them? You got a problem? No. Nicely done! <laughs> Hold on a sec! Please, be careful. <laughs> Guess I had it stop. <laughs> Oh, 
offers no solace in victory. Mm. Let us pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and try not to slip up again. We'll be okay, right? One of us has been poisoned. <laughs> Yay, violin! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just too much for ya. <laughs> you thought you could win? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time. Well, <laughs> I guess we're having fun. You're so cute. Oh, you seem to be having fun. Let's have some fun. You're a bad influence. <laughs> <laughs> it was a glorious success. Just think what we could achieve if we honed our talents further. You know it. The sun descends. Night will be upon us soon. Cool. We shall have to be all the more vigilant. Say goodbye to your intestines. Is that all your blood? Is there blood on me? Well. <laughs> <laughs> you are mighty indeed, Arisen. That's right. <laughs> okay, let's go. With all my strength, let us begin. Oh, Mind if I follow your lead? By all means. I like our chances. How so is poorly balanced. I am in awe of your powers of detection. Is this? I'm sure my master would be astonished to learn this is here. Fate has paired us. I'm sorry! May I? <laughs> Dance for me! <laughs> At last! The moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. <laughs> I can't power a life and turn it off. Good place to put our feet up. If we have a tent with us... We're all right! The road turns perilous after nightfall. It would behoove us to rest here till the morn comes. Magical. You woke me for this? More pests. can do is drench our equipment. Not paying attention? Why not know this proof of your negligence? Can it be you are lost, Arisen One? The path to the dragon has many turns, but I can illuminate the way ahead if you so desire. Celestial blessings. You will find the path you want to follow inscribed here. Destiny placed me here. Would you know the fate of another? Not today! I see. The cruel twist of fate has robbed you of your identity. That's above all, you must seek to recover your true self. 
This meeting shall not be our last, Arisen One. <laughs> Come to think of it, the private quarters of one Arisen I served had many a visitor, and rarely the same one. Fascinating.